there's a man in the woods. What a spectacle. Before the story started, the school was still respectable. My students used to skip down to the hills to the honeysuckle, pluck a couple, and collect their nectar till they fill pick their fill. Except one adoptious kid, Sid, who just watched them eat the flowers, while he seethed and scowled because he couldn't bear to share sweet treats throughout the recess hours. I remember Sid saying, There's a man in the woods! That's how the rumors began. Of course, Sid had spotted him first. The poor kids. He got them immersed in their spiel about a serial killer whose gun barrel glint said peril. A visit to the nurse, or worse, a hearse waiting beyond the dale. The children saw him. Look over there! That man had Batman ears, we, we swear! And, and twice the yellow eyes, we heard it saw something rusty. The shotgun it must be! I saw a lady severed thigh! Trust me, every word I heard was absurd. Yet each day Sid would stray down way past the playground. Who else was brave enough to save us from the killer's next plot? The rest of the lot would stop back, back to the, at the blacktop. Sure that any closer, we were bound to be found deep in the woods, less a rot. I pleaded for the kids to think and learn to be mature. But after a few more rumors doomed my attempts to prove the school were secure, their fear was undeterred, and when the buses drove home, the parents finally heard. Everything had blown up. I received a wall of emails and calls full of shrieks, wails, and all from terrified families who heard from the word of the murder and didn't like my lack of action at all. What was I supposed to do? Comb the home forest? Yeah, right, would you? That means I didn't care? That's not fair. The stories you got worried weren't true. Of course I would feel regret had there been a real threat and I ignored it. And some poor kid got kidnapped while the kids were napping. But you wouldn't admit that your good little kid would formulate a fib and then ignore what I said. Your little angels would never cook up such an incredible creations. An overreactive imagination, maybe. But my kid would never lie. How dare I accuse a kid child of being dishonest? Just marchers. The parents were displeased, and when the PTA took action, they dismissed me from the classroom, like they knew what was best for their kids. Do you know how difficult it is to get a job when a bitter mom slanders your rep with child neglect from the outset? Now who's going to control your classes? Single file lines. Single file lines! Little vile swine, a killer by the pine, really, are you blind? Will you find your spines? A child was decides to fill our minds with lies, and the next thing you see is people treating you like I committed crime. I was in my prime! Those kids were lucky to have me. Do you see what you did? Better I can play along. I can be good. Do you hear that, Sid? There's a man in the woods. <laughs>